Hey, what's up, guys? It's back from Team Summer X1, and today I'm going to be showcasing a Going Second Pearly deck. Uh, Pearly has been one of my favorite archetypes uh, since it's been uh, released. I really, really enjoy uh, playing the deck, so I figured I'd showcase uh, what a Going Second deck looks like for the upcoming uh, format. As a result of the Forbidden and Limited list, you know, Delicious Memory going to one really hurts the deck um, ability to go first now, so I figured i showcase you. Um, a going second version because I think the deck excels at going second and ironically enough I actually chose to go second the majority of the time uh, when I did play Pearly when I know it was like against Catch Tira or like against um, uh, any deck that it was favored in um, at blinding second into. Uh, don't forget to subscribe um, as well as let me know in the comment section below um, how you like the build as well as what are the profiles you would like to see for myself. And secondly, a uh, huge shout to uh, Supreme Pro, um, TSX1.com. Use Pac-10 for 10% off to get the best sleeve in the game. So, so if you guys didn't know, I actually topped um, a YCS with uh, Pearly as well. Um, so I feel like uh, I know the deck uh, pretty well. Um, it was in uh, Santiago, Chile, and I actually played uh, this deck. So um, I'm not this exact same list, but I did play the, uh, the deck that you see here. And so as you can see, um, I maxed out on the cats, uh, three of each. Um, I think they're... Uh, there's no, uh, you know, other reason to play less. Uh, it's just really, really powerful. Um, you don't want to, like, brick. You don't want to brick. Um, and, and going second, you need to see all of your cast because they're pretty much how you uh, are able to, like, play the game. Um, I play three Ash Blossom because I think they're just the most generic hand traps in the game right now. Um, and I think it's really, really good to have Ash in your main deck. So I decided to play three. Uh, one Delicious Memory because uh, it's at one, uh, which is quite sad. Uh, we have triple sleeping memory, um, triple happy memory, uh, triple pretty memory, and then triple uh, my friend Pearly. So uh, just max out all the engine cards for the deck because those, these cards are pretty much uh, non-negotiable. Um, uh, they're pretty much like the, the main core of the deck and you can't really afford to cut on any of those. Then we have um, for the going second cards, uh, Prosperity. Uh, this card is like really neat because it's both a going f second card and a going first card. Going second, it can help you dig uh, for any of your blowouts, like Lightning Storm, Dark Ruler No More, Triple Tactics, um, any of those cards. And going first, it can help see uh, more of your engine. But mainly, this card helps you see Delicious Memory more consistently um, so that you can go first uh, without worry. Uh, for the other cards, I play two Lightning Storm and then one Duster. Um, because removing back after you can deal with all the back row, the monsters are really d easy to deal with within the pearly engine. Um, triple uh, tactics talent. Um, this card is really really amazing because it's like if you look, even though like the list is a going second list, it has cards that work first and second, kind of like prosperity and tactics. Tactics is like you know obviously like absurd when he goes first, looking at your opponent's hand, drawing two cards. I um, mean going second, this card can take your opponent's monster and like threaten the Zeus out of nowhere. So really really absurd. Um, more going second cards, three dark Blood, no more, um, which is amazing. <clears throat> and then two thrusts. Okay, so um, thrust is really neat because it can set impermanence from your deck or set the, the pearly trap. So, and that's going to be the last four cards of the deck. So, pretty much the, the main deck, uh, 40 cards clean, nothing else to say. <clears throat> I don't play a discard engine because uh, I don't think you need them, but maybe that's something to like explore uh, because Shifter is not in the format, but I do think Kishira is still a very popular deck, so I still don't want to play any discard engine because, you know, I don't want to uh, potentially like uh, have dead cards in the main deck as a result. For the extra deck, I play one Anima, uh, one Moon. Um, moon is really, really good because um, you can use it to outskill Jane uh, because it tributes for cost, so like it's good to apply. And you can use it to out like any of your opponents like back rows, monsters, all that good stuff. Anima is also really good because uh, sometimes your opponent misplays into the column and then you can just take their card. So I like those type of interactions. One Slacker Magician uh, because it's really, really good at going second to Thorn and Zeus. Uh, one Princess Sprite because when you go first, this card helps you see uh, your engine more consistently. And you play like only nine monsters, so the rest are all spells and traps. Uh, one Downard, um, which is, I guess, Slacker Magician grown up, which is kind of cool lore-wise. Um, you have uh, two Zeus. Uh, this deck, even if Kajir gets hit, I think you should still play two Zeus in the deck because this deck pretty much is a, a Zeus turbo deck when it goes second. Uh, be able to like abuse this card is like absurd. Um, two Noir. Um, I still like two of this card. Usually you hard make one and the other one you make off the trap. We then have two Beauty, uh, two Happiness, and then two Plum. Oh, you could cut one Plum. I thought about this to play like Downard as well. So something to consider. For um, the side deck, post side, you're gonna maybe consider um, going first and 
I think, uh, like, sometimes you don't know if you're going first or second. So, I side Nibiru because it's generically good first and second. Nibiru is, like, can catch a lot of people unexpected, especially if they think it's out of the format. But I still think this card is really good because, like, there will be some combo decks that, like, overextend. So, uh, Nibiru is going to be really good. Um, three Ghost Spell. Uh, I decided to play three Ghost Spell because uh, it's good against Labyrinth, uh, which is a pretty popular deck. It can negate uh, a Runic Fountain with Bell as well to draw cards. Um... Yeah, I just think Bell's a really, really solid card, and I think it should be in uh, the format uh, next, next coming up. Uh, yeah, Bell's just an uh, amazing card, yeah. But having utility against Branded, against Labyrinth, against even Math Mech, because Math Mech is still a viable deck, um, and it was, as well as against Runix, I think it makes Bell a really, really solid card. Now for the fun cards, three, uh, Vanities, Fiend. Um, when, you're meant to, when you're made to go first, you know, hand traps are really, really strong against this deck, so <coughs> the best way to mitigate that is to, um, if you can hand trap the lot, you just troop over someone in your level 1 and try to, like, stall the turn out um, and, and prolong the game with this card. Um, it's also really hard to out this card because uh, Happy Memory protects this card from card destruction, and you, if you get Delicious Memory, you can protect this card from battle as well, so it's really, really difficult. 3. Summon Limit. This card is really, really powerful because um, it stops your opponent from summoning more than two times. Um, but you can play under Summon Limit because um, after they pass the turn back to you, after you Summon Limit them, you can use uh, Beauty to send your own Summon Limit to the Graveyard to turn it off. So this deck being able to turn off its Floodgate is really, really insane. Um, and there's a really cool interaction with, <clears throat> with Plum as well and Vanity's Fiend. Uh, because you can have Vanity's Fiend and, like, and Plum up. And on your turn, you can use Plum Effect to banish Vanity's Fiend until the end phase, right? And then you can play your turn out, and end phase Vanity's Fiend comes back and it locks your opponent. So uh, this deck can pretty much play with its Floodgates, which I think is like really, really cool um, with, the, with the deck. So, um, And then I play uh, for, for more going first cards, because like I said, it's going first list. And for the side pattern, uh, these are the going first cards. Double per leap. So maximize the trap to three, post side, uh, because it's amazing when you go first. And then I play one field spell because it helps you um, pretty much playing through hand traps uh, like Impermanence, Veiler, people still play that. And uh, being able to attach, leaving memory to keep getting draws and pluses is amazing. So it makes it so that if you hard make a Noir, the Noir will always have materials every single turn replenishing itself. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much the deck list, guys. I hope you guys enjoy uh, the profile and um, give, this shit, give this deck a try and let me know how it goes for you. And um, yeah, don't forget to uh, sleeve your deck up as well in the, these amazing uh, Supreme Pro sleeves. And um, you use my code for 10% off, which is pack 10. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, pearly deck. I really enjoyed it myself. And I definitely would say don't give up on this deck yet. Still very viable and strong option for the upcoming format. Signing out, pack.